What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. As you know, Windows 11 dropped yesterday, October 5th. If you're seeing this issue or you're wondering how to enable TPM2 on your machine, um, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So let's get right into it. So first things first, in Google, if you just uh, type Windows 11 or Win 11, and I'm going to hit the tab here, upgrade to the new Windows 11. And at the top here, I'm with where it says Windows OS, let's go to Windows 11, expand that, and let's go how to get Windows 11. You're going to see this blue button here, which says check for compatibility. You're going to hit that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to download the PC Health Checker app. You're going to download this and it's going to tell you if your PC is compatible or not. So once the PC Health app is installed, it should automatically launch. If it doesn't launch, you can search in your apps over here and manually launch it. And you're going to hit check now and you'll see it says this PC doesn't currently meet the requirements for Windows 11. Um, it is a PC that is within the four year range. So it's four years old. It's not more than four years old as Microsoft points out. If it is more than four years old, then chances are that you may not be able to get it. Um, technically, you can get Windows 11 if it's not TPM 2.0 enabled, but then you may run into uh, what do you call security risks and things of that nature. So to keep it simple and straightforward, it says TPM 2.0 must be supported. If I go to device specs, and this will open a page, but it will say this PC will not run Windows 11. Again, nothing to worry about. If your PC is newer within the four year range, you should be able to get that enabled without a problem. And on the Microsoft website, we can see how to enable TPM. So this basically is how to get into your BIOS settings and then go into your um, security settings and make sure that TPM is enabled. So this is the way that you would do that without hitting the uh, delete or F2 or F1, whichever uh, button that is dedicated to enter your BIOS at startup. This is basically how to do it via software. So what you would do, and I'll show you this on my computer here, what we would do is we're going to get into the BIOS uh, system and then we are going to uh, go to UEFI firmware settings and then we're going to make sure that uh, trusted computing or TPM 2.0 is enabled. And you'll notice it also says that sometimes it could be called security device support, TPM state, AMD, FTPM. So it could have multiple names or different names for it, but the setting is all the same. As soon as it's enabled, then your computer will be good to go for Windows 11. So I'm gonna go to settings. So just click start, start typing settings. So right here, the settings app, then you wanna go to update and security and down here to recovery. And then you're gonna hit restart now. And one thing worth mentioning, make sure that your computer is up to date. So you can just hit update here, check for updates. So mine is all up to date, which is good. Uh, back to recovery and I'm gonna hit restart now and that's gonna restart the PC. Okay, so PC is now restarted and I'm gonna go to troubleshoot, which is right here. And then over here, I'm gonna go to advanced options. And then over here, I'm gonna go to UEFI firmware settings. And as I mentioned earlier, you can uh, get to the BIOS setting with your dedicated um, delete or F1 or F2 or escape, whichever key is dedicated. Uh, but this is the software way of how to do it. So I'm gonna hit restart. Okay, so now I am in my bio settings. Um, I do have the MSI, the Mag X570 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go into settings right here, the settings tab, and then I'm going to go into um, the security tab right here. Uh, I'm just going to click that or double click that. And then I'm going to go right here. And as Microsoft mentioned on the website, trusted computing. So I'm going to click that. And I can see the details here as well. It'll say it, it, it enables or disables the TPM function, which is what we need, right? So we're gonna go here. And as Microsoft website also point out, it could be called FTM switch. So I'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna hit enable. And once that's enabled, you can hit F10 on your keyboard. And then I'm going to save and exit and the computer is gonna restart. Okay, so my PC restarted and let me go to the PC health app or health check app. Hit check now. Uh, I guess it's doing its thing any day now. It'll 
Hit check now again, it's loading. There we are, perfect. So great news, this PC meets Windows 11 requirements, which is good, which is great. And that's it, that's all, that's how you would do it. So basically go into your BIOS and make sure that TPM 2.0 under security is enabled. It can have different names, but the concept is exactly the same. And uh, that should do the trick. Uh, refer to your motherboard manual or the motherboard um, guideline as to if you have a dedicated uh, key and if you prefer to get into the BIOS system via that way. But that's how you do it. Granted, your PC is within the four year um, old range. Alrighty, um, that's it. That's all. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Tech out.